With 2025 coming to a close, the Indian Defence Establishment has decided to end the year with missile tests of the Akash Next Generation or NG surface to air missile and the test of a submarine launched ballistic missile, which is said to be the K 4. Both these tests have validated two very different types of missile systems that were developed in India. The first of these is a likely test of the K-4 submarine launch ballistic missile. This test, which is yet to be officially announced, is the ninth such test of the intermediate range ballistic missile that has a range of 3,500 km. The test of this missile, which is capable of carrying both conventional and nuclear payloads, took place on India's eastern seaboard on Tuesday. This missile, paired with its submarine launch platform, completes India's nuclear triad. This means India now has the capability of deploying nuclear weapons from the aerial, surface and subsurface platforms. This capability acts as a strong deterrence against any adversary that would want to take out India's strategic assets in a first strike. A submerged submarine is therefore considered a critical asset for the second or retaliatory strike. The next big test that has been conducted is that of the Akash NG missile. This variant is a major improvement over the Akash family of surface to air missiles, which proved their importance during the active phase of Operation Sindur. This series of launches, the seventh since 2021, was a user trial. This means that the missile is now ready to be inducted in the Indian Armed Forces. DRDO increased the missile's operational range from 25 to 30 km for the previous generation, Akash to 70 to 80 km for the Akash NG which is just shy of the maximum range of the MRSAM. The missile utilizes an active radar seeker, the multifunctional radar can also aid in distinguishing between friends and foes, provide fire control up to 80 km and conduct surveillance up to 120 km. The electro-optical tracking system can identify and track targets up to 45 km in a passive manner without alerting the enemy aircraft that it is being tracked. Akash NG has extensive electronic countermeasures capabilities as well. The two launches demonstrate India's growing capabilities in defence and are also a demonstration of Atma Nirbharta in defence. Both strategic missiles and anti-aircraft missiles are some of the most difficult weapons to master and India clearly has demonstrated its mastery here. At least three more missile tests are planned in the next week or so. This means that the DRDO and the Indian Armed Forces are taking strides to enter 2026 in a stronger, more confident manner. This pace shows a concentrated effort to make India self-reliant in defence.